February of 2023, we got to go to Italy again for Carnival. Of course, when we started planning the trip, we thought, well, we'll just stay in Venice for the whole five or six days. But then we started worrying that Venice during Carnival would be too crowded, too crazy, too expensive. So we only stayed in Venice for 36 hours. And it was too, too much, but in a great way. Everything about Venice is too much. It's just such an amazing city. And we stayed on a quiet piazza, still in the San Marco district, so not hard to walk into the Piazza San Marco. And we could see people in their regalia outside our window, but quiet enough for a restful night's sleep. The only thing we did in Venice related to Carnival was walk around and look at people in elaborate costumes. And it was a little crowded, but not bad. We could have absolutely enjoyed the whole five or six day stay there. But we had other plans, and so we didn't stay in Venice. We went somewhere else in Italy for Carnival. Sicily. We stayed on the east coast, just north of Catania, in the town of Acireale. I had read that Acireale had the best carnival celebrations in Sicily, and although we weren't able to stay for the entire week-long celebration, we really loved the area and can't wait to go back. I hope next year we can go and stay and see the whole thing. There are other towns in that same part of the coast, all that start with the Aci. The area is steeped in mythology and history. Nothing you see in Sicily is simple. The rocks that you see out in the water were the ones the Cyclops threw at Odysseus when he was on his way home from the Trojan War. Of course, all of Italy is full of history and fascinating places, but I thought Sicily had its own special magnetic fascination. Maybe it's Mount Etna looming over Acerreale and the other places we visited on the East Coast. We stayed in an Airbnb in Acerreale and had to park in a pay lot. Getting there always confused us. It was down a one-way street, but as this very Italian street sign tells you, you can go the opposite way if you need to park. We did thoroughly enjoy the parts of Carnival we saw. It seemed very family friendly. The atmosphere was relaxed and happy. There were candy stands everywhere, including right outside our door. And we got to see local dance troops perform and really enjoyed it. It felt like, you know, this is a festival put on for the people of the town, not for us tourists. it was off season we did go to the tourist town of Tarmina. Honestly we didn't see that much there because we spent the afternoon with a Russian couple we met in a restaurant talking about the state of the world. They highly recommended that we visit Mount Etna and we tried but unfortunately there was just too much snow every day we were there and the road stayed closed. Another reason we have to go back. On our first full day, we drove down to Syracuse, stopping at an auto grill, where we met a very friendly and intelligent dog who knew how to watch for the police and not get caught. 
Ancient Syracuse was part of Magna Grecia, and the entire city is a World Heritage Site. That's why we went there and we knew about the Greek history, so we were excited to see the ruins of the Temple of Apollo. But the entire old town is fascinating to walk around, full of great restaurants. A lot of them were open even in February. I'm sure in the summer there's a lot more places to choose from, but more crowds and fewer cats. I'm embarrassed to admit I didn't really know the Christian history of Syracuse, that Paul himself evangelized the area. The cathedral is a converted Greek temple, and in fact, it's the second Christian church in the world. We did, though, know that Syracuse was the hometown of Archimedes, and Randy the mathematician was glad to visit the hometown of such a great mind. of Syracuse is on its own island, Ortizia, and we decided we would just walk through town all the way to the archaeological park. Probably not the best decision, it was a little far, we should have driven. The archaeological park is one of the most beautiful places I've ever seen. The lush gardens, the old quarries, the ancient theater where Aeschylus himself staged plays. After all that walking, we almost fell asleep on our Valentine's Day dinner in Acitreza at the Grand Hotel Farglioni. And because we were so tired, we decided to stay around the area of Catania the next day. We had some errands to run, and Randy really doesn't mind driving in the traffic. He actually said he prefers it to the traffic in Atlanta. It's a little less rule-bound, shall we say? So I would be nervous driving, but I was not nervous walking around the wonderful markets in Catania. I had no access to a kitchen, so I had no reason to buy anything, but I wanted to so badly. The produce was so fresh and so beautiful. The fish were so interesting. Well, I don't know how to cook eels. We managed to stop at one of the juice stands that are spread through Catania. I would not have been able to find parking, but Randy was, and we got some really neat juice. Catania has a really well done museum about World War II in Sicily. My father was part of the Allied force there, so I found it particularly interesting. The next day we drove down to see the Valley of the Temples in Agrigento, stopping for lunch in Favara, because I'd read there was an artist colony there. We just found a chicken place. Even if there were not amazing Greek ruins to see, the two kilometer walk along the ridge of the Valley of the Temples would be worth doing. And yet the hillside is covered in beautiful Greek ruins. There is something about the air there, the quality of light. I keep wanting to say magical, and I know that's an overused word, but it's the only thing that captures how it feels to walk around this place.
all this history and beauty weren't enough, there's a garden celebrating people who represent the best of humankind, just to lift your spirits a little bit more. There are also heritage goats on site. Yes, all this beauty, all this history, and goats. After our walk, we thought we could head over to the coast and get coffee and maybe see something interesting. And we did find coffee and we did find something interesting. de Turchi is a pure white rock formation on the coast in Agrigento. In the summer this area might be a lot different, but in the winter it was a place of stark beauty and stillness. The lovers go. I see in you the most beautiful part. I don't know where it went, time or the words I meant. All I know is I've kept your song in my heart. Even the roadside stop for gas that evening on the way back to Acireale had a moment of sublime beauty. A herd of snow white cattle, their bells ringing in the dusk. I hope this video gives you just a glimpse of the beauty that we found in Sicily. Mm -hmm.